understand? You let become Krishna the enjoy of all our so-called happiness. <laughs> he is the enjoyer of my wife, he is the enjoyer of my children, he is the owner of my wife, he is the owner of my husband, he is the owner of everything I possess. He is the owner of my intelligence, he is the owner of my mind, he is the owner of my body, he is the owner of my soul. Everything belongs to him. So I am his. And if any enjoyment comes, then he, he should enjoy. He is the enjoyer of everything. Anything comes for my pleasure, I does not belong to me, it belongs to him. So let him enjoy. And you will feel ecstasy. But this is very difficult. Yeah. This is very difficult. Because this disease is so deep in our hearts. And this is the price we have to pay. This is the price we have to pay if we want to get the real Krishna. If you want a cheap Krishna, imitation Krishna, then you don't have to do this. But if you want the real thing, then you have to understand. Everything is his. It's for his pleasure, not for my pleasure. If I take something, I am thief. I have to pay. And this is the naked truth. There's no, no way around. So it is very merciless mercy. <laughs> but this is the price we have to pay. So as uh, I heard speaking Chinapakti Varati Tamaraj, he is speaking for the pleasure of Krishna. Not for the pleasure of his audience. Even if everybody is living one day, and then you told me, or somebody told me. Nobody, nobody came. Nobody and came. Those who came, sleeping. And those who came, they were sleeping. <laughs> but he was speaking uh, for the pleasure of Krishna, because he says this, he does it as a service to him. So we also try to do. To please Krishna, we don't want to cheat anyone. We want to tell the truth, even if nobody wants to hear. <laughs> Everybody is against. But if only one person understands, then the you know, my guru definitely will be satisfied. And Mahaprabhu will be satisfied. Ask some question. How long will this bitterness last? <laughs> it is not bitter, it is only we are deceased. <laughs> It is sweet, <laughs> but you know this example is given if you have chantis, it's gemsucht in German, chantis, then the medicine is candy sugar, but this candy sugar if you take it tastes very bitter, you have no taste for sugar, it tastes bitter sugar. But it is the medicine. If you take a lot of candy, then jaundice will leave. And then again, the sugar is tasting sweet. The same is with the, the bitterness will go when we become healthy. Again. No risk, no gain. 
So we don't know. This is our problem. We don't know. Maybe it's not. It's not true what he's saying. <laughs> Maybe Krishna is speaking. Okay, but uh, I don't know Krishna. <laughs> Maybe he's lying to us. Oh, I have no experience of this other world. So that's because we have to develop some faith in the association of those who have faith. And uh, there's always risk. He may or may not save me. Now I have given up everything and I did not get anything. No, I am nowhere. I lost everything and I don't got anything. This is our problem, our anxiety. But for this, we have to, we have to uh, accumulate spiritual piety, spiritual sukriti. By serving the Vaishnavas, by associating, by pleasing during all this. Because we we are not able to please Krishna personally. On the mundane platform we cannot we cannot serve Krishna. Because uh, Krishna is only can accept or accepts a service on the transcendental platform from his pure devotees. So we may please the pure devotee and he may, he may, through him, it may go to Krishna. But we have to come down to the level of uh, a real devotee. Kanishta Vikari sings, beginning devotee he sings, I am servant of Krishna, I don't care so much for his devotees. I am Krishna's servant. This is a beginning devotee. More advanced devotee, he thinks different. He recognizes devotees. Ah. He makes friendship with those devotees who are on the equal platform. And he, those who are on the beginning platform, he is serving them, helping them. Those who are more advanced, he is serving them. He is to them. And the Uttama devotee sees everyone better than himself. He sees only devotee, and except himself. I am not a devotee. We should think like this. I aspire for the mercy of a devotee. We have to become step down a little bit. Aspiring for the mercy of devotee. Devotee is something else. Devotee is like Uttara. Devotee is like our Gurudev, our Acharyas. They are devotees. Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati said, my Gurudev, they should stay in Radha Kovacs. But do you know what Kishore does? But I am not fit for this. I will stay a little away in Bhagavatam. I will come every day there and to serve them. And to because I am not qualified. I am not qualified to hear the Raslila. <laughs> Once he came to Radakon to meet old friend from his youth. 
He was living there as Babaji. And he knows he was upstairs hearing Harikata from one Babaji there. And they're discussing Raslila. So Prabhupada went up, he did not know this. Yeah. You know this story, most of or some of you. But he went up. And then he heard he was speaking last later when he was sitting there. So he just paid obeisances. Then he went down again. But his friend, he saw him and he went just after him. See? You, why are you not staying? Why are you not hearing? Discussion then came to Rasli. Then he said, I am not qualified to hear this.